Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this session, we will see about the CloudWatch log group basically. So I want to uh, tell you one trigger tricks basically how to save the cost for the CloudWatch logs. Okay, as a retention period. Okay, and then how to get the proper keyword based filtration or we can say log insights query to fetch particular data from the logs. Okay, so let's see uh, both the things today. So I just came into the CloudWatch here. You can simply just search here CloudWatch. Okay. And after the navigate to the CloudWatch, you will see the dashboard like this. Okay. Then just click on log group. Okay. Here I have one log group, which is name, you know, a demo hyphen world. So if I just open this log group and just ex explore and you can see I have lo different multiple uh, log streams basically. So what will happen? Let's say the real time cases we have we have to search the error log with the keyword base, you know, like uh, we want to see only the error basically, not the info logs. So <clears throat> if you go to go one by one, then it will take lots of you no know, hectic process. It will consume more time basically to search and check the each line where the keywords, you know, error or mention something. Okay, so to avoid this kind of hectic process or save the times basically so aws provide the uh, feature like you know log insights so i have already opened the log insights in the uh, separate tab okay you can see here so don't worry about the key query so i will uh, give this query in the description box okay so we can use this kind of query here just i am just filtering the error here okay error keyword and uh, the main thing is you need to select the log group from here. Okay. You can see the log group name is you can see here AWS Lambda demo hyphen world. Okay. So you can just simply copy paste here. Okay. Either either you can just from here just search like this. Okay. So once the log group selected, you can filter the this keyword from the multiple log group as well. Okay. Just for info, in your information. So for now, I'm just going to fetch the error keyword line basically from only single log group which is lambda function you know demo world basically and you can give the limit here like 20 line or 200 whatever you want to uh, give okay i think the max limit is 20000 or something you can check that and just simply run this query and uh, one more thing you can just select the duration basically let's say in the real time cases you want to fetch the uh, data from you know, log basically from last one hour or 12, 12 hours depend upon your requirement basically okay you can just click on this button you will get the drop down okay <clears throat> additional page basically where you can select the time duration either minutes in hours or weeks okay and if you want to go more than weeks then you can just select unit of time here okay months and you can select whatever months you want to fetch the data basically okay you can see now we i have 10 uh, records where mentioned the where i got the got the basically error key, error so you can just expand this simply and you can see the details error log let's say in the real time cases you can just share this log to your developer team or respective team okay to resolve this issue this is for the how we can uh, use the log insights query to fetch particular uh, keyword based log basically from the log group okay so now one more thing i have i want to give you the tricks basically so in the real time cases if we store the log for the longer period of time then we will get the store storage cost basically okay so in real time cases really if you don't require the uh, older data older log basically let's say more than one month okay we don't require So just whatever the log group you want to uh, set the retention period here, you can just select that retention period and simply on the retention uh, by default, it's uh, never expires. So you can just click on that simply and what what uh, retention period you want to keep just select that. Let's say last one one day or three weeks or whatever. Okay. Two weeks, one month, you can see maximum 10 years period. Okay. By default, it's a uh, never expires. So this is also the best practice to save the costing for the storage because uh, unnecessary storing the logs, the logs basically for the older period of time. So it's uh, not a uh, no good practice until then unless it's required. Okay. 
otherwise you can keep the minimum retention period okay yeah that's all for the today's session we will see the next session with the more technical videos okay yeah thank you